Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. I've got some beautiful things that I want to show you today. We are going to be making matchbooks. These are just cute little embellishments for our junk journals. And inside, um, one idea is to put stick pins. Um, this one I've got these, oh gosh, these stones are so beautiful. And if you know anything about gemstones, you might can tell me what they are. They were given to me and I don't remember the name of them, but they're just gorgeous. But all I did is I put some lace here and some crocheted lace here. And the reason I used the crocheted lace at the bottom is because I wanted something to be able to stick my pin in. I needed something a little more durable. Um, and so this one just tucks in. The bottom is um, has two staples in it. You can see them right there. And it just tucks in. And then I just added um, lace and pretty things. This one is a matchbook a little bit larger. And on the inside of it, I put a vintage image and I put pockets. So it has a pocket there with a little tag behind it. And it has... A pocket here with a little tag in there and then it just tucks in right there and that one's held together with one staple this one I did it the other way just just for fun I added this uh, a little string closure that goes around that button and it opens from the top down and there's my beautiful stick pins. I made an angel stick pin. And see, I put some crochet doily in there. That's it's good to give you something to stick your pins into to hold them in. So there's that one. This one I put lace at the bottom and it tucks behind that lace. I guess you can see that. And this one is done in the emerald greens because I was matching the paper. There's another big piece of the crochet doily and a little tag stuck in a little pocket up there at the top. Okay, so that one goes like that. And then here's the last one. And I just did some fancy uh, corners on the bottom of this one. It doesn't matter. You don't have to. And then three just gorgeous stick pins. Now these stick pins, and this actually worked better, I put a little piece of uh, cardstock down in the bottom that I kind of folded into a triangle, but I made it real, real skinny. And I took a needle and I punched holes through two sides and I stuck my pins in there. And you can see they stay really, really well. So that actually worked better than just sticking them into some of the crochet stuff. So how are we going to make these? I'm going to use this piece of paper that I've already cut a little bit on. And I'm not going to embellish the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you how to cut it. Um, let's say three inches. You can cut them any size you want, but I'm just going to say three inches. And then you want to, let's see, that one's three inches. Okay, so... Just measure it out ever how long you want it to be. You, you want to leave your little flap at the bottom. So we're going to cut about right here. And I'll tell you what that comes out to be. That is um, eight. It's eight and a quarter, but it doesn't matter. All right. And then just decide which side you want your outside. Or which side do you want to be the inside? I think I want this to be the inside because it'll show my stick pins up. This will be uh, too busy. So let this be the outside. So here's the inside. And I'm just going to fold up a piece on the bottom. It doesn't matter how far you fold it. Um, but at least I'd say three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. And then this part, let's go ahead and I want you to see how we staple this. I'm going to staple it right really, really close to the bottom. Can you see that staple? really close to the bottom and see I haven't folded this one yet because I want to fold this under and I want it to tuck under there but not so far that it's difficult to get it in does that make sense so I'm not pushing it all the way to the staple I just pulled it back just a hair and then I'm gonna crease it and there you go all you got to do now is go and embellish it it is ready to be embellished and so you could even put, I've, I've done some where I put a mini journal in here and you can either tuck the mini journal down in there or glue it down and let it open like an accordion fold or whatever. So anyway, just another idea, a way to use up those paper scraps. Thanks for watching. Go have fun. Bye-bye.